Hi, and welcome back to another tutorial. We're going to be looking at Blueprint Communications, how to talk to all actors of a specific class. We're going to jump back into the content examples in the Unreal Editor. I'm going to launch it up here. If you don't have the project, just watch the first video in this playlist, and it'll show you how to get this project on your machine. We're going to go to File, Open Level, Blueprint Communication again. Just going to have a preview here of what we're looking at. It's this station here, 1.4, communicating with all actors of a specific class. When I walk up to this button, it will turn on every light that is uh, of a given class, and I'll show you what I mean. If we hit escape here and click on one of the lights, hit control B, it'll take us to its uh, location in the content editor, or in the content browser. If we look here, we see a BP light bulb pulse, and uh, it's just a class that was created in fact, it's pretty much identical to the first light that we looked at, um, except for a few differences. This one pulses instead of turns on and off. Let's have a look at the button blueprint now, the pulse button blueprint. This is also pretty much identical to what we've looked at before in the button blueprints. Um, the only difference really comes when the overlap event happens. Instead of using a target, um, we're actually going to use this node here, get all actors of class. So if we hit this uh, little drop down, you'll see that you can choose basically from any blueprint, any class in your project, and you can basically get an array of all of those blueprints that are instantiated into the level or placed in the level. So once you have that array of these specific classes in the level, we're going to loop through each one of those. Then we are going to take each actor and cast it to uh, the blueprint that we have in question here so we can gain access to the toggle light function just like we saw in the last video where once we have the cast successful then we have access to all of the functions inside that class and that is it for looking at the example it's really very simple so let's just try to recreate this ourselves we're going to go back to our my stuff folder that we created in our previous projects and we're going to create a new light class now blueprint actor and we're going to call this bp underscore light type one hit enter click on open full blueprint editor so you get an event graph again delete out the default nodes there we're going to right click say create new add new custom event we're going to call this toggle light Hit enter. We're going to add an input on it of a Boolean type that says uh, state. It's just going to represent the on off state of our light. Again, we're going to need an actual light component, say a point light, just like last time. Drag out a reference here. We're going to set the intensity both at zero and at our infamous 5000 then we're going to need a branch and then if the state is true we're going to turn our intensity to 5000 if the state is false we're going to turn the intensity down to zero which effectively turns the light off compile and save that oops don't forget to hook up the target compile save now that we're done with this new light type, we're going to hijack our button again, just like we did last time. Delete uh, the target. We're going to just remove the target entirely because we don't need it. And on the component begin overlap, we are going to say get all actors of class. And once we have this node, we can do a drop down and just look for our light type. Light type one. So this node is going to gather up all of the light type ones that are placed in our level, create an array out of it. So for each of these lights that we do find in the level, we're going to cast that and make sure that it is a light type. And if it is a light type, we are going to toggle the light. And in this case, we're going to turn it on. And to complete this, we're also going to do the same thing for end overlap. We're going to get all the actors of the light type again, except for this time we're going to turn the state off. Compile and save. 
and you'll see we get a note here on these casts. It says item is already BP light type one. You do not need to cast. So actually what we need to do here, delete these and then just connect them up directly like this. I set it up like the example because it actually works either way. And for whatever reason, they set up originally uh, to cast after they've already gathered a specific class. I don't know if this is something they changed from the example to here, but this will definitely be an upgrade um, to our setup. So now let's compile and save. Let's run back to our level, set up our scene again here. We're going to place our button and we have our light type one. We're going to do one. And if you hold alternate on the keyboard and drag, we can place two, three lights in the scene and that should be good enough. Let's test it and see if we succeeded here. Run over to the station. Now when I come up to the button, the lights turn on. When I leave the button, the lights turn off. Now the lights are in their on state initially, so we could fix that real quick just by going into the light blueprint. Change our initial intensity down to zero so that our light is off. And then when we run back into the level, we'll see that everything should be working pretty much just like the other dem the other demonstration here at the station. Now we don't have models for our light bulbs, but the, it's the functionality that we're going after here. So that's pretty much it. Thanks a lot for joining me in another tutorial here while we explore the different ways that blueprints can talk to each other.